Here it is, January 17th, 2022. Uh, it's 29 degrees. It was kind of cold. Wind had been blowing. Uh, I just come down here just to build me a fire because, because I ain't got a lick of sense about nothing. But I'll tell you what, I'm waiting for riding weather. And if until it gets here, the next best thing is getting out here and building you a fire. And of course, here again, I, in a previous video, I'll show you here. I brought my uh, survival kit. There it is. So <laughs> it's just because that's what I wanted. Draw the razor down here. And I strung up this little tarp. Not to try to catch any heat. I'm sitting on my coveralls. Not trying to catch any heat. I just got the coveralls to keep my butt from getting froze to the ground. Because as you can see, there's a little bit of ice on the ground. Uh, the tarp is just uh, as a wind block because, like I said, I, I've always said it and I'll say it again. If you can knock down that wind, you've got half the battle fought, you know. So it's, uh, it's uh, one of the old basic things uh, of having to have shelter. So, but anyway, get out of wind and, and you're pretty good. Yeah, this just a little old cheap tarp. Got it uh, at Walmart there on, on 10 bucks or so. But they're good tarps just for, for <laughs> just jacking around. I got some good tarps, but I like to save them and, and, and use them for whenever I really do do some camping uh, because of them's, uh, them's going to keep the rain off me and uh, they're going to uh, help uh, keep me warm. Uh, I did order, order me a stove for my tent. I got my tent, but it just this is just not a good day to try to set a tent because the ground's all frozen and all that kind of stuff. But and right now today i'm just lacking the ambition to do a whole lot i just want to come down here and build a fire and, and uh kind of just uh let you know that you know just because the weather's bad and, and things ain't the way they should be uh, yeah, you can you still get out and do what you want uh you know it's uh and it's great uh i've been down here before and i've got a couple other videos down where i did this uh but you know and it don't it don't matter who you are or what you got going on. You just got to get out and do it. Okay. I am sixty nine. Big deal. But uh, I'm I'm not afraid to get out here and do it. And and it's like uh, my wife said to me. She says, well, "What happens? You get out there and you have a heart attack and die." And I say, "Well, <laughs> somebody's got a nice toy. <laughs> I ain't gonna give a shit. I'll be dead." <laughs> So, you know, it's like, it, it is what it is. It, you, you can't change what's going to happen. Uh, you're a, a master of your own destiny to a point, but outside there's a lot of things out there you can't control. So, it, that, that's what I'm saying. You know, just get out there and, and enjoy life because, uh, well, I, I noticed on, uh, on, on uh, most of my videos, most of my viewers are 65 and over, and that's good. Because that's kind of what I want to do this for, is for us older people of uh, getting out and, and, and doing what we uh, doing what we want to do. Because you know what, you spent your entire life uh, doing what everybody else wanted you to do, and uh, it, it, it's your turn. It's your turn to do what you want to do. So, and you know, we ain't out here. We ain't making very many ways. We ain't really ain't trying to hurt nobody. Uh, just kind of want to take. A, what's the rest of our life and just enjoy it. And that's what you should do. Just get out there and enjoy it. Uh, like I said, I'm just biding my time so I can get back on the bike again because I love that bike. Uh, you know, and as long as I can ride that sucker, old, old dad's gonna ride. Hell yeah. Uh, so, you know, it's, but it's like, it, uh, whatever you uh, you all want to do that that, uh, that makes you feel good and, and uh, you know, that's what you should do It just, you know, just get out and enjoy it, because there's a whole big world out there, and, and uh, uh, it's they're they're slowly taking it away and boxing it up, shipping it off, trading it. I don't know. It's 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 just it's it's just uh, how do you put it? It's just downright. It's it's I don't. Know, it's it's criminal what they're doing to this world. It really is. So, but anyway. And maybe it's criminal. Maybe we're the criminals. Like I said, uh, maybe we're because we let it happen. I don't know. But uh, anyway, get out there and enjoy it. 
Get out there and have a good time. Get out there and do what you want to do. It's like the old song goes, do what you want to do because it's your thing. You know, it sounds kind of corny, but it's true. You know, it's your thing. Do it. It's, it's, it's your life. Nobody can live it for you. Yeah, I'm sitting down here. It's 20, 20, I think 20, 27, 29 degrees, and the wind's blowing about 17, 18 miles an hour. Like I said, that's why I got the tarp up. And I'm sitting here, and am I warm? Hell no, I'm freezing my ass off. But I got my long johns on. My insulated boots are not quite as insulated as what they were a couple years ago, so I might have to think about changing them out. I hate to get rid of anything until it's, <laughs> till it's done. And I'm wearing two, two jackets, which, I, well, I, which is what I wear all the time anyway. But like I said, just blocking that wind does make a world of difference. My fire's kind of petering out because my wood's wet. Uh, it, like I said, this, as you can see, there's ice and snow and crap on the ground. And, and the only thing I, I got was just what I could dig up off, you know, out of the leaves and stuff. So it's, it might take a while for it to dry out. And it might not ever dry out. But it's all right. I probably won't be out here very long, but it's just the idea that my golly, I was out. And that's what I mean. You don't have to be out all day long. You don't got to be no bear grills you, you can just go out there and and just do what you want to do and enjoy it and i did learn something i try to make all these excursions teach me something i mean you know i'm kind of dumb kind of slow so it takes a while uh you know it's like uh how many times does the apple have to hit me on top of the head well until there's a lot of apple sauce in the ground so i'm kind of slow but uh i always carry a, a lighter in my pocket and I never give it much thought, but I got down there the first time there and, and lighters out of, out of fuel. I'm going, shit. <laughs> so I'm trying to, and then I walked off the house and left my gloves. And get, thank God I had another pair of gloves with me. And I always carry, oh, I, I, I try to be prepared, but I didn't have one lighter. So I had to go back to the house and get my lighter, and that's where I left my gloves, but I had another pair of gloves, so it wasn't a big deal. But, uh, you know, uh, so it taught me that I've got a little bag here. It's in the it's in the razor, and it taught me that uh, as far as if I'm going to do these winter excursions, I need to make me a, a, a fire kit, which I've got two or three different fire kits and two or three different backpacks, and I went home to look for them, couldn't find any because I couldn't remember which backpack are in. So I'm, I'm going to just dedicate this one bag as a as a fire making kit and uh, that's going to be my fire making kit oh, if I get up off the ground as long as I ain't froze to it there I go yeah old AJ ain't nothing wrong with it this is a it's a military surplus it's a it's a medical bag for utensils and stuff got that at I think it was a Cover Bridge Festival they had a bunch of them laying there and I seen that and I thought, you know, it really ain't much good for anything, but it's got pockets and pouches, like three different ones. And I thought, you know, I didn't make a good fire starting kit. So I'm going to start filling it up. I'll get me some, uh, I'll get put, put, put me a ferro rod in it. I got matches in there now. Oh, and the bad, th the bad thing about matches, I'll give you a little clue on the striking word matches. They ain't like the old how blue tips used to be. The matches they got today just ain't worth shit. Uh, the old Ohio blues hip strike anywheres, them matches are indestructible. These new ones, uh, I've kept them in a bottle, in a, in a sealed bottle, and they just won't strike. It's almost like they're, they're just, they've deteriorated over, because I've had them for about a year or two, and they just, they just ain't worth shit. So I wish to, I could find somebody or Ohio blue tip come back in in production because Sam was good. The old kitchen matches, I mean, some younger people don't want to talk about, but you older, older people don't want to talk about. The old kitchen matches, them was the best matches. Strike anywhere. So anyway, so I got to get my fire kit going again, and uh, and like I said, I, I carry a, I normally carry a cotton balls with Vaseline on them. Best fire starting get unless you want to use hand sanitizer, but uh, it works good. And what I do is, I will I will try to get my kit together, and I will try to do a, a little. I, you know, I I kind of hate reviews because I, I don't want anybody to do things my way. I want everybody to do things their way. But I could kind of give you an idea of some of the things that I do if if you're interested. You know, uh, 
But like I said, I, I surely ain't gonna try to tell nobody how to do it, or, or and my way is not the right way. My way is just <laughs> my way of getting by. So, you know, uh, and everything I do is just my opinion. I'm not trying to influence, not trying to tell anybody, with the exception of one thing, that the one influence I am trying to make, and I will, I will say it time and time again, get out and do what you want to do. Enjoy life. That, I, I, will, I, will, I will preach to you. Uh, but outside of that, how you do it, it's up to you. It ain't none of my business. It only, it's only yours. But you just got to get out and do it. But anyway, it's down here, and like I said, I think I'll enjoy my survival kit. <laughs> This stuff that's good for you, you know, Slim Jim Mountain Dew. Let's know, Mountain Dew's got all that corn syrup and all that extra stuff in there, and coloring and all that kind of stuff, which you know ain't good for you. And it's Slim Jim, it ain't real meat. It's just, it's it's made from mystery meat, but it tastes good. So I'm gonna get it anyway. Uh, most of this stuff, like the the Slim Jims, I have to take my pocket knife, cut off the outer skin because I don't know what they make out of. I guess recycled tires. Uh, it's got no taste, and I don't like it, so I don't eat it. But I cut it off. Uh, so but anyway, that's that's enough of that, I guess. Anyway, like I said, just get out and do your thing. Don't matter what the weather is. Uh, have a good day, and I tell you what, as always, ride safe, ride free.